Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Christine from Glow Recipe. So today we're gonna talk about pores. To me personally, my pores are just getting bigger every day. It's just really sad actually. <laughs> and clogged and like oh, yeah. blackheads because yeah, like... Yeah, facing downwards, you know, like as you age. But today we're gonna talk about general pore care. Yeah. Um, we think it's really important for you to understand why you have pores that are enlarging and pores don't seem to reduce at all. What do you do with it? How do you treat them? And then all of our tips and tricks. All right, so let's start off with the truth that you cannot physically shrink your pores. You're kind of... <laughs> okay, so because it's like saying I'm gonna have shorter arms. Like your pore size is kind of oh, your pore size. Oh, that's a good way of saying Yeah, exactly. that's a good analogy. But there's still hope. What you can do is make sure to keep them clear and free of clogging, grime, yeah. and sebum and things like that. You just get rid of the blackheads. Exactly, and keep them clear so they don't get even larger. Yeah, so. the last thing you want is your pores getting larger. Although I'm, I'm seeing that in my face. I'm doing everything I can to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> and there are ways, you know, not everyone's perfect. Um, you really have to be diligent in your skincare in order to prevent that. So we have some tips for skincare, but also your lifestyle. All right, so let's start off with the reasons why your pores get enlarged. So most of the cases, um, it's really because of your hormonal balance. Once that balance is broken, um, as you know, for those of you that have sensitive skin mm -hmm. with oily sebums always flowing, especially in the summer season, it's because that balance is not there. So you're not getting the right level of hydration that balances off with the right level of oil or sebum. And this overproduction of sebum basically means a lot of things. You're clogging your pores. It's also creating bacteria production all over your face. Oh god. And when these clogged pores are out in the sun, they start to oxidize. Yeah, and these are called blackheads. Um, sometimes they even mix up with the built up okay. dead skin cells and create this lumpy blackhead, which really just don't look good. That just paints a very disturbing <laughs> picture in my mind. Don't visualize it. I mean, we all have it somewhere, but you know. So the ways to treat these blackheads and pores, or enlarged pores, we have several ways. What is your first tip? So the first tip is double cleansing. I mean, the core of keeping your pores clean and unclogged is to clean, clean, clean them out without <laughs> irritation, just making sure you're going deep into the pore and ungluing all that sebum stuck in there. And we've talked about this in our previous double cleansing video, but just to recap, you want to remove your oily parts, you know, your makeup, um, everything that's made of oil and the debris with a cleansing oil with a gentle massage, then a foam cleanser to completely remove everything off of your face and make it clean. And I know a lot of you with oilier skin types are a little apprehensive about using an oil cleanser, yeah. but actually an oil cleanser is a fantastic way to really truly get rid of all that makeup and grime from your skin and deep cleanse the pores. So a great tip we actually got from a makeup artist friend of ours is the one plus one method. One plus one. You make one minute yep. and one minute of foam. So you, you're just giving your formulas time essentially to really work their way into the pores, get everything out, you're massaging the whole time, which is great for circulation also by the way, and then your foam cleanser, same thing, just really making sure you're just getting everything off. Think of it like dirty dishes. If you have a sponge in a dirty dish and you're like poop and you're done, that's not really going to clean your dish, you just want to go over it a few times, right? Skin is the same way. One plus one is a good way to keep track of how much time you're spending with yeah, I love that. Um, it's so easy to remember, but if you still feel like a cleansing oil is not something that works for your skin, you can use a cleansing water and once again, leave that on for one minute while massaging it gently or using a cotton pad and then move on to your foam wash. Another tip, and we can't say enough of this, is to hydrate your skin. If you have oily skin or dry skin, doesn't matter, you have to hydrate your skin in order to have that clean, perfect, fundamental, plump skin, and then move on to the next steps of your skincare routine. For those of you that have pore concerns or oily skin, you might want to choose lighter textures over the creamier or the more emollient textures. You don't want anything getting inside the pores, staying there with a the heavy, creamy texture and just ultimately clogging your pores. So some of the textures that we have are, um, this tea tree essence, for example, is great because it's literally like a watery, 
fluidy texture that just runs on your skin mm, and you feel like you just don't have another layer. And then this gel cream is also a great yeah. texture. The kind of rule of thumb that we've been talking about is no thicker than a yogurt. So this type of fluid gel bouncy texture is a good benchmark for a texture that's great for oilier skin types. This will give you that hydration that will keep your skin balanced and balanced skin means that your skin won't have to overproduce oil because exactly. it's so starved for moisture. Yeah. Some people ask, you know, if I put on too much hydration or moisturizer, is it gonna make my skin oilier or more acne prone? Absolutely not, but make sure you choose the right texture right. for it with the right amount of hydration. Even for sunscreen, there are featherweight, breathable textures out there. The newer textures from Korea that are very trending right now are these essence type of sunscreens that just instantly melts and absorbs wow. into your skin and that really just helps the sun protection while enabling the next layer to absorb very quickly as well. And SPF is also super important because we all know that SPF is a huge factor in aging our skin and if your <laughs> skin loses elasticity and plumpness, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. then your pores are going to stretch out because your Sag skin is sagging. So hydration and SPF are really important because you're keeping your skin healthy, plump, and not saggy. That elasticity will keep your pores from stretching out. One of the treatments we actually recommend for pores that are starting to look a little bit saggy is this artichoke syrup because artichoke is great for elasticity and firmness. And that's a really great ingredient for you to keep in mind when it comes to pore care, artichoke. And it's just this great, really lightweight texture that can be used right before your moisturizer to keep skin firm. Acids are a really great and gentle way to exfoliate the skin, retexturize the surface, and treat that sebum buildup within the pores. The reason for that is because blackheads can be built based on the buildup of dead skin cells. So you want to make sure you clear that path away, you have no buildups with dead skins that kind of block the way of your natural flow and balance. So we have some products that can help with these acids. So the first is a splash mask, and I'm sure you guys have seen this in some of our videos, but it's a fantastic treatment infused with lactic acid, which is a great skin retexturizing ingredient and botanical ingredient. So what you do is essentially pour a capful in the shower, splash and pat all over your face, and that will give you that instant radiance, but also soften the skin and kind of clean out the pores. So if you use this maybe two, three times a week, you don't need sometimes an extra exfoliation. It's a very easy and simple, but also gentle way of exfoliating your skin and um, taking care of your pores as well. Another acid-infused skincare item is this aqua peeler. And an aqua peeler is essentially an oversized Q-tip infused also with lactic acid. And you kind of use a swab to precision exfoliate over the areas that you need the most. We especially love this treatment because you can concentrate around the nose and the chin where you're more prone to blackheads yeah. and clogged pores. And it has a really amazing ingredient list. It has no alcohol, pure botanical extracts, and of course, acid. So we mentioned that artichoke is great for sagging pores. There are some other ingredients that are really great for purifying your pores. One is charcoal and the other is clay. And these are two masks that we really love, especially when we feel like we have blackheads building up. Mm. Charcoal and clay are both magnets to oil. They really absorb the oil well and efficiently. So you want to use these masks maybe even two, three times a week. Um, I personally love the rubber mask made with charcoal. This really helps detoxify my skin while modifying it in a very soft, hydrating way. And then this clay mask is really great because we want to make sure that you're using clay masks that don't dry out into this like hardened husk on the skin. That can actually dry out your skin causing an overproduction of seba. This type of clay mask will stay soft and pliable on the skin and then you just wash it off in 10 to 15 minutes. Final tip for your pore care is using a product that mattifies your skin because at the end of the day you want to avoid excess oil or excess sebum across your face. We love J1's Jelly Pack that really helps mattify our skin before we apply makeup on. This for us is a 3-in-1. It's a pore care slash hydrating treatment. It's a morning mask and a primer all in one. And what it does is because it helps mattify and soften and smooth the skin surface, it enables the makeup to last all day long. 
To recap the kind of routine you would have for pore perfection, the first step would be a double cleanse with a cleansing oil and a foam wash. And then once or twice a week, use some acid-based products to retexturize and exfoliate the skin, such as the splash mask or the aqua peeler. And then move on to your treatment steps with a serum that has something like artichoke in it to keep the skin firm and elastic. Then a gel cream for lightweight hydration. In the daytime, you probably wouldn't do a double cleanse. No, daytime you want to keep it simple. Either use a cleansing water with cotton pad or just foam wash gently and lightly and then move on to your next step. Sometimes we use a splash mask as a replacement of any type of cleansing or even a toner as a first step in the morning. Oh, great idea. And then you want to mattify your skin and prep your skin before your makeup with a product like Jelly Pack that helps treat your skin at the same time. And then at the end, you always want to cap it off with an SPF so that your skin stays protected. Make sure it's a very lightweight texture. So this was our pore care routine and some of our favorite tips that we personally use every day. Thank you guys for watching. Each item has a direct link below with the product description. And if you have any questions or other feedback, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Get, Get your glow on! Combination skin type. It gets very dry in the winter and it gets very oily in the summer and the skincare routine has to change drastically.